Hi Capricorn. Welcome and welcome back to Monoclipse's Tarot. I am Amira. Thank you guys so much for showing up consistently. It is truly appreciated. Your presence, your likes, your subscription. If you're not already subscribed, please do so. Okay. So it's going to be your weekly message um, for the sign of Capricorn. So wherever you have Capricorn in your chart, it may very well resonate for you, especially if you have it more significantly or in more significant placements. Um, but keep in mind that it's a general reading, okay? So it won't resonate for everyone or in the same way. All right. Um, yeah, and timing is fluid as well, so... It just won't be the same for everybody. So keep that in mind. If you guys are interested in a personal reading where we can look at something more specific to your situation, you can always reach out to me via email. Personal love readings are on sale right now through February. Get it while it's hot. <laughs> okay, you can reach out to me via email for one of those. All right, listen. Um, as I was getting, I was literally getting ready to press record and I had to stop because this candle right here went out. Um, and, or it, it, I mean, either it went out at some point at the end of the last reading that I did, or, it, you know, that's when I realized that it was out though. Um, and I had to relight it. Um, nothing happens by chance, right? And... It, it immediately took me back to what day? 2 7. Okay, the daily message for 2 7 for you guys spoke about you getting a fresh start, a clean slate, a blank slate. And I feel like that's sort of um, bleeding over, if you will, into this message. I, f I feel like whatever this clean slate is, Capricorn, it will bring you more peace. I feel like it will be calmer where um you know things have were not or maybe you know maybe things were not exciting or have not been exciting um this is relighting a spark of some sort in your life in your soul and allowing for a blank slate this week strength card and the two of pentacles trying to jump out i'm not going to take them so this week we are um doing a, uh, a spread to look at where you have been, where you want to be, and what's holding you back, okay? So that's what we'll tap into here. But I wanted to just let you guys in on what was going on in the energy. I feel like there's some kind of blank slate. All right, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, clear and concise messages, please, for Capricorn. Okay. Releasing me of any judgment, doubt, or bias. Just your message for Capricorn with clarity. Let's go on to the collective, please. Where has Capricorn been? Where has Capricorn been? Hmm. Four cups. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Okay, this is someone who uh, maybe has options or opportunities, but is too focused on what has occurred in the past, too focused on, um, you know, rejections or disappointment. It's like, mm, no thanks, no thanks. I'm bored with that. I'm bored with you. I'm bored with this. No thanks. I'm just going to sit over here and um, be emotionally withdrawn. Ultimately, wow, yeah, full card here at the bottom of the deck. I feel like there's some kind of um, opportunity that you feel like you missed out on big time. Okay, big time, big time, big time. For a lot of you, it was due to um, fear. Okay, but there's that Ace of Wands back there. All right. So I don't know if this is coming back around. Um, I will say even prior to pulling the rest of the energy, this Four of Cups calls for, it calls for an attitude change. Okay, the Law of Attraction. Um, I wanted to say what you attract attracts you. 
I don't know if that's an actual saying or, or what, but that's what I'm wanting to say. I feel like spirit is trying to has been trying to bring you in this ace of cups, which could be a new relationship, could be a new person, could be intimacy, could be deepening your spiritual level, um, could be a new relationship or, or um, with yourself. Okay, the ace of cups is a blessing. It's a cleansing out of the emotional space of whatever it is, however it has come through. You can't recognize it because you're too focused on what has occurred in the past, sort of the space that you guys have been in. All right. <clears throat> so where do they want to be? Where do they want to be? I feel like there's some insecurities here as well. Someone who feels as though they're not deserving of that ace. Where do they want to be, please? Four wands. So we're going from one four to another, right? Very different fours. The four of wands is a place of freedom. It's a place of security. This is committing yourselves to something or someone. This could be a celebration, could be a marriage for sure. The four of wands, um, as we know it, it, it represents twin flames, but this is having everything that you need, um, typically with another individual to build uh, and be successful. This is freedom. This is success, okay? <laughs> What did I say? The opportunity is coming back around. And here's the thing about opportunities and feeling as though we missed them. You probably likely were not ready, okay, or needed to learn something from that past situation. Um, I, I do feel like it's a blank slate. I feel like you're, you know, either receiving a new opportunity to deepen your connection with self or deepen your connection with another individual or um, start some kind of new relationship here. Nonetheless, the full card represents such. Yeah, page of wands seven of pentacles okay and here's these kings so i don't know if there's options here got the king of wands and the king of cups hmm um but yeah where you guys are wanting to be is in a place of of happiness really all right yeah we got the knight of cups here showing up with the full card so some kind, of, some kind of opportunity that changes the emotional space or could be a, a marriage proposal uh, uh, where you guys are wanting to be. Interesting. Okay, tell me about what's holding them back, please. What's holding them back or keeping them stuck? So you guys have been in a place of, of overanalyzing overanalyzing, um, you know, maybe a relationship or a situation where you feel like you missed a huge opportunity. Okay. I feel like it's time to get up. I feel like it's time to change your mindset. I feel like it's time to have a new attitude, especially if you're wanting to be in a partnership. The four of wands is, is two people, you know, it's, it's finding a place to build, to build something together that is secure, to build something together that that brings about um, this feeling of success, freedom, and happiness. Wanting a wanting a relationship, really. I feel like we have somebody here who wants a relationship. Knight of Cups. <laughs> so, so we saw that Knight of Cups show up earlier, right? As far as what could be coming in or what it is that you want, but this is also the same thing that's holding you back. Knight of Cups represents emotional change. But in this particular position, and I keep telling everybody, in this particular position is sort of showing it to me in the in the um, reverse position. Yeah, Queen of Cups down there. I, I, you know, whatever happened in your past that has affected you, I feel like it's sort of affecting your future because the Knight of Cups is someone who um, maybe maybe jealous, may have unrealistic expectations, is immature, especially as if, as it pertains to the emotional space and, and the romantic space. Knight of Cups, if you think about him in the reverse, is someone who uh, just... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Could be emotionally manipulative or... Um, um, again, I feel like, like I said, I feel like there's insecurities here as well. I think there's some, some, something in the emotional space that perhaps still needs some healing, uh, which is the, which is what the Knight of Cups is representing, emotional change. What's holding you back is a change in the emotional space. Your attitude, which we spoke about over here with the Four of Cups. Let's clarify, though. Let's clarify this message, please, for my Capricorns. Hmm. 
All right, what's the Four of Cups, please? I really want them to know about this Four of Cups as far as where they've been. Four of Swords. Yeah, there's some scars here, okay? Four, four, four. There's some scars here. <clears throat> Uh, I feel like you guys have been in a place of avoidance, okay? Um, needing to heal, uh, you know, working on yourselves, focus, you know, focusing inward as far as your mental and your emotional space is concerned and not really being concerned with digging up, <laughs> digging up the deep stuff or dealing with the deep stuff. I think that you have been introspective and, in, 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 you know, understanding that you need to heal, but there's been too much focus on that and less learning from that and, and uh, moving forward. Yeah, there's the Queen of Swords. There's the Ice Queen. There's the Five of Cups and there's the Six of Cups. Everything that I just said, the Ice Queen is coming out. The Ice Queen is coming out. I don't know if we have somebody here who is a jealous ex or has a jealous ex, but it's here. It is absolutely here. There's regret. There's, me, there's remorse for the past point blank period. Let's get the next three. I'm curious. I'm curious. Eight of Cups, Ace of Cups, and the Temperance. Huh. So, I don't know if we have somebody here who is regretting, you know, turning an Ace of Cups down. That may very well be what we have. That's what it seems like. This is like um the space that you've been is well we already said that with the four of cups there, there's clearly been something that's been turned down but it's like uh, i'm gonna focus on myself self-love self-care i'm focusing on my healing right now okay that's sort of where you've been yeah um I feel like we also have, yeah, focusing on their health. I don't know if we have somebody here who's been like um, uh, working out and eating right, okay? Focusing on their physical health as well. All right. That may also be what's feeding into the insecurities. <clears throat> All right, what's the four of wands as far as what Capricorn wants? This is a celebration. It's a place of achievement, okay? It's like I've, I've patiently waited for this. I've built up to this. I'm deserving of this. The Four of Wands. The Emperor at the bottom of the deck. Oops, okay. The Hierophant, the Ace of Wands, and the Three of Cups, yeah. I feel like we have somebody here who wants a commitment, okay? Point blank period. Whether they are in a relationship or not, this is someone who is wanting something long term that's going to be super exciting, wanting a new beginning. I don't know why I'm hearing fresh face. What does that mean? Fresh face. I mean, we have a blank slate for sure. There's, there's definitely a new beginning, a new start that you are wanting, and I feel like it's here for you. There's still some work that needs to be done. Um, but yeah, fresh face. Okay, there's there's a lot about the physical appearance that's showing up here. So some of you may be dating. Like I said, perhaps you're dating someone. I feel like there's a lack of patience here, though. All right. This is someone who is determined to have commitment. This is someone who is determined to have a fresh start. Someone who's tired, tired of the games as well. We saw that five of wands back there. Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> but some, there's something, um, that is unclear here. Okay, there's something that's unclear. And, and whether you are in a relationship or um, at the brink, on the brink of, of this commitment, this success. 
excuse me um there's something here that's unclear okay with the page of swords seven of cups it's like someone is still trying to figure something out or um uh, something has not been made final basically is what it feels like so you're wanting clarity here Hmm. Interesting. All right, let's see what this Knight of Cups is about, because this is representing what's holding you back. Uh, for some of you, it could just be flat out a proposal. <laughs> okay. Okay, what's the Knight of Cups? This is a really lovey-dovey reading. <laughs> what's the Knight of Cups, please? Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles at the bottom, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. Yeah, we have somebody here who has options, okay? We have somebody here who has options. And again, with this emotional manipulation, so I don't know if we have somebody here who is not faithful or is just exercising their options, if you will. Um, somebody is, is wanting, yeah, and especially with this three of cups here, I don't know if we have a, 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 someone who wants a relationship that is not traditional or, um, something like this is going on. Okay. I, I, I don't know if there's a difference of opinion or, or someone is trying to decide what kind of relationship or what kind of commitment they want. Something like this. I feel like there's also some sense of embarrassment or there would be some sense of embarrassment. This is getting really deep. Let's get the next three over here. Page of Wands, the Moon, and the Seven of Cups. Yeah, something is unclear, okay? Either someone's choice is unclear or someone is extra. I feel like we have somebody here who is exercising their options now. This is going under what's holding you back. For some of you, it could be you that is exercising your options and, and not making a direct, clear choice committing to something, or it could be someone else who is not clearly choosing you, which is a whole nother topic of conversation that we're not gonna get into, okay? Okay, let's see, what's the overall message here? Hmm. That took a turn. What's the overall message here? <clears throat> I mean, it all goes back right to this Four of Cups energy where we have somebody who is not really focusing on the cup that's trying to come in. It's like, mm, nope, next, mm, nope, you're, you're no good either, or I don't want that one either, or something like this. There's some kind of indecision, okay, on somebody's part. Hmm. Okay, what's the overall message or uh, um, final message here for Capricorn? Hmm. I feel like we have somebody here who's not being honest, honestly. <laughs> oh. Okay, what's the overall message, please? Four of Swords. So the Four of Swords is um, a separation or a break of some sort. Another four coming out here for you guys. What's at the bottom? Six of Cups, Ace of Cups. There's some, it feels like there's something new being presented to you, Capricorn, and you are not willing to choose it. <laughs> okay? It's like, I just want to continue to exercise my options, or somebody does. Can we get one more, please? What else? Overall message. Four of Swords is healing. It's a separation. It's like mini hermit mode. Yeah, the lovers, okay? Lover's card, I mean, it's another card of commitment. It's, it's, it's connection, it's intimacy, it's love, it's mutual trust, respect, but it's also a choice in love. 
All right, so I don't know if we have somebody here who has too many options and they're needing to take their time or they are, they already have been taking their time to, to make a decision, but I feel like the, the decision that's being made right now is more so based in, in, the, in the past and, and not so much in what something can bring to you. So um, yeah, interesting. Let's get a personal power oracle and then we'll clear this message out. Let me know down in the comments, you guys, how this resonates for you. I'm curious what the storyline is here for you. Let's see. One personal power, though, for Capricorn here. <clears throat> I am authentic. Yeah, we have a we have a goddamn liar here. Okay. <laughs> We do, we do, we do. Somebody's not being authentic. Somebody is not being realistic as well about their options or not being realistic about their future. Okay. I don't know if we have a player here. The night of the, I mean, the, okay. Um, I am a problem solver, bottom of the deck. This is Virgo energy. And then you have Leo here as well. But I feel like we have somebody here who's not being authentic honestly and again that could that could be someone who you're dealing with or that could be you within yourself not being authentic to what it is that you want within a relationship within a commitment i don't know if we have somebody here who is compromising themselves compromising their values all right first of all this person okay let me just get into this. Normally, I would end the message here, but I need to get into this. This Knight of Cups, if if this is what's what's being presented to you, this love offer, this this engagement, this proposal, this opportunity, the, these gifts, this, these romantic gestures, right? We have two queens here that are fighting over a knight. That that's not what we do. That, that is not what we do. The Queen of Pentacles is supposed to be someone who is extremely secure within herself, understands her values. And then we have the Queen of Cups, who is um, typically very intuitive and um, sensitive, but she also, you know, feeds into this romantic stuff as well. But, but, but I feel like we have, honestly, you know, it's not the Knight of Wands, but I do. I feel like we have somebody here who is playing games. Okay, and being inauthentic in some way. Again, um, you know, it's not going to resonate for everybody or in the same way. So take what resonates with, for your situation. But I hope that ultimately this message brings you some sense of peace and clarity, Capricorn. Let me know down in the comments below. Reach out for your personal love reading so we can see what the hell is really going on here. <laughs> okay, I love you guys and I'll see you next time for the next one. Listen, before I go, when did this candle go out? We started with this one and now we're here with this candle going out. I feel like, so, I, I, and, and did, I don't know if I said this out loud at the beginning, but I, I do. I do. I feel like someone has dimmed their light for another individual. It's like there was supposed to be perhaps some kind of lesson learned from the situation. I think that it has built some kind of insecurity and it, it, there's a need for someone to stand up for themselves and what it is that they believe in, what it is that they want out of another individual, out of a relationship, out of their lives to fulfill them emotionally, okay? I, and, and I feel like it was as soon as I started to break down these queens who were fighting for the, the attention of a knight. That, that's not what we do. That's not what we do. Something here is not as it seems. We saw the moon card over and over again. That's what that represents. Something here is not as it seems. That also feeds into insecurities and fears and someone who is trying to feel their way out of a situation. There's a lot of emotions involved. The lover's card asks for you to make a decision, uh, you know, not so much based upon the feeling. Something may feel great. The sex may be great. The intimacy may be great. Maybe there's mutual attraction in a situation, but that doesn't have anything to do with the facts. All right, I'm going to go. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments below how this resonates for you guys. I'll see you next time.